different than all the rest A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of liked my patriotic decor so much, I thought I would take this opportunity to do small uh, arrangements for 4th of July. We're going to take several items and just make numerous uh, centerpieces. We're going to do uh, tiered trays. I'm going to show you how to make a tiered tray if you do not have one. So um, I'm excited about this. I think y'all are going to enjoy this tremendously. And you can use things that you already have. You do not have to have a ton of items, okay? So let's get started. This is a galvanized tray, tear tray that I already had. Uh, it was given to me by one of my really good friends for my birthday. Uh, it was a, several years ago and it came from Darby's here in Andalusia. So um, I'm gonna do several different styles because I wanted to be sure that I incorporate my friends that do traditional items vintage items and farmhouse items. So I'm gonna kind of mix it up for you guys, okay? So let's do one with vintage items because that's my favorite. Um, I have these ball jars, they're old. I was gonna put the shorter one on the bottom and then the taller one I was gonna use on the top. And look how I did that. So I try to do them different sides. Carry your eye across, okay? So you've got this, these across from each other. So I want to add, um, I think I want to add some greenery. So I have these little pieces. This came in a three pack from Hobby Lobby in a little basket, but it's the perfect size for tiered trays. So I'm going to stick that in the back. And basically what I'm doing is trying to fill that in to make it look fuller. Now I have these cute metal signs. It says America on it. I got these at um, Lena Ellen here in Andalusia as well. Super cute. These are $8.99. I think they have these at Kirkland's as well. And I'm just gonna stick that at the top. So I've got my layered effect. Now I could even do something underneath that greenery to pick it up, but I'm just kind of giving y'all an example, okay? So then I have these blocks that have uh, the stars and the red and white stripe. Now on all of these um, ideas I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna kind of use the same items to give you different ideas. So I'm gonna put the star one down here and maybe the stripe one up top. I could do that. Um, I have this enamel piece that I did on my dining room table. It's got the red uh, edges on it, just some greenery in it. I can stick that in the back. See how much that filled it up? So greenery is like your best friend. With these, I can even take a flag and put it in this greenery in the back. So to me, this is kind of a vintage look. So you can use this as a vintage look. So let's do a more traditional look. So this one is gonna be a more traditional look. So I wanna use my blue and white because that is used a lot in traditional little block up underneath my teapot just to rise it up just a tad okay so I'm gonna put that there I have this beautiful little daffodil that I'm gonna put right here see how cute that already looks on the bottom I have this um this is what I got from vintage goat this is that set this is a gravy bowl the blue and white I'm gonna put it on the bottom 
with my little piece of greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I have some blue and white cups that I'm going to stick right here for some more height, okay? Now, I know I need some red. So this was my thought. I was explaining to my mother today that strawberries and apples are becoming popular again. I know if you're as old as I am, um, I had a lot of apple decor. So, and my mother collects strawberries. So she is excited that it's coming back in. But anyway, I have apples. So, and I have kept them over the years. So what I thought was to add some apples. And look how cute that is, guys. It just does a pop of red in there. And like I said, this is more traditional. This is a traditional look. And then I'm just gonna stick a flag here and there, just to, if I can, just to give it more patriotic, just to add the red, white, and blue in there. But y'all look at that. How cute is that? So a uh, teapot, three apples, a gravy bowl, two cups, and um, a little thing of uh, flowers. Could, you could do that so simple. Uh, you could add more greenery in. Here's that greenery that I used in the last one. You could add more, you could lay it down, kind of like this in the front with your apple, ah, apple on top, just to bring your apple up. I mean, you can build on this, but this is a traditional look, okay? So let's try a farmhouse look. All right, so now this one's gonna be the farmhouse look. I left my block in the top and then a white hen. She is beautiful, look at her. So I'm gonna put her front and center. Then I have these greeneries that I showed you that, I, that came from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna stick those in the back, okay? I have this blue and white spattered wear. Now y'all have seen my red and white, but this is my blue and white. And I'm gonna stick him kind of in the front next to this. Then I have some salt and pepper shakers in the blue and white spatter. Stick that in the front. I have this tall, now this is what we call in the South a tater masher, <laughs> mashed potatoes, make mashed potatoes with it. And I am going, and it's dirty and I just showed it to y'all. I am going to put it in the top just to get some red. And you can see the red up top, it's really cute. Um, and then let's see, let's put another greenery down here. I have some more of these cute pictures from Kirkland's. This one's just an old uh, wagon with a geranium inside. Look how cute that is. And I have more of these um, utensils um, I think this one is a sharpener for a knife. So I put that there and then I have a bottle opener. I'm gonna stick this in here. Now I could even add more greenery if I wanted to to give it more of a layered look. See how cute. Then I could add my flags like I did on the others. Sweet guys, farmhouse effect or farmhouse style. I like it. You can spread it out if you don't like it as cluttered. Uh, I will say that tear trays looks better when they're full. And if you have a lot of greenery, that helps with that. Um, so let's try a different style, not this particular uh, tear tray. Let's try something different. Everybody has a cake stand. And if you don't, this looks like to me, this is a terracotta pot with a either a pizza dish or just a cake pan turned upside down. Very simple. And it would be beautiful in the galvanized too. So I think you could totally pull it off. So a regular cake plate. We want to do it vintage. All right. So let's bring back the two jars that I had. We could do the two of them up top. We could do one down below. You could put a tray under this just to, to ground it all. And that would be really pretty with um, even a, a cloth of some sort in the red and white or the 
navy and white, just whatever you choose that you have. You could totally do that. Um, so there's this. Let's add some greenery. So you could lay the greenery on its side so you can see the burlap. You could tuck it up under here. So you're getting that layered tear tray look without the tear tray. And I'm gonna tell you, tear trays are, to me, super, super expensive. So I, I like this idea. It's a lot less expensive. Most everybody has a cake plate, cake stand. Um, you could add in the little chicken with that. It's a little too much white, I think. Um, you can bring it down below and put that in there. Uh, the splatterware, let me get that. You could add the red and white splatterware to give you more color. I almost want to take the chicken away. Can't put that there. Kind of doing three. So you see how I have threes? Threes and threes. They're a little opposite and they carry your eye over and down. So that's what you want to do. You want to bring the eye. Um, I could add in my little American flag deal. Let's see. There we go. Cute. Oh, yeah. I like that. See, guys? I could add something else. I found something else over here a while ago. I bought these from Pine and Ivy. These are just little um, cutting boards. Super, super sweet. Let me show you. So, I am thinking about getting these for Christmas, putting the little candle ring in the center, and maybe doing a little bird. Yeah. But anyway, so that's for another day. So I'm going to take the um, little uh, butcher block piece, and I'm going to set it up here. Excuse me. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Y'all, it's been a long day. I've had a bad day at work. Anyway, this is super sweet. This is very vintage and can be considered very farmhouse as well. But I think it's gorgeous. A cake plate. You don't need a tear tray. You can use a cake plate. So let's do a traditional. So I went ahead and did my traditional look. Look at that, guys. It's the, um, the little flower, the teapot that I had, a cute little nest. Just a few little apples. Now, I did add a plate down on the bottom. I added the little plate on the bottom with um, the blue willow and the red apples and just some greenery. You can expand on that. You can put a, a table runner under this. You could do a tablecloth under this. I mean, you, you there's all kinds of possibilities, but that is sweet. Just a cake plate. Uh, farmhouse. Let's play with that one. All right, farmhouse. I have a bigger piece of splatterware. Y'all, I love this splatterware. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah. Oh, I lost track. Okay, so, and then we're going to put a piece of greenery on its side. Carry your eye over here. A piece of greenery on that side. I want to see the burlap because of the farmhouse look, right? And then I could do my flag. I could do my little salt and pepper shakers over here. See how stinking sweet that is? Look, tater masher. I could put it, wait, I could put it right here for some red. Can you see that? And then put my little. So, y'all, there is endless possibilities for this. And I'm basically using the same stuff over and over. I wish I had a tablecloth that I could put under this to give y'all an idea of how much it would change the look. Something red something blue and white striped. Let me see if I have something to show y'all. Look at that. This is just a um, quilt that I had that has, and now it's not navy. It's a very light blue and white, kind of a chambray kind of color. But you can use all different colors of red, all different shades of blue, and it is beautiful for the 4th of July. So you can mix in those things. Uh, you can change out the American flag you could do um, 
your little uh, pictures. I mean, it it's the end the endless possibilities with this, guys. So um, I just wanted to kind of give you some ideas of centerpieces that you could do with just a cake plate. You don't have to have a tear tray. You can make a tear tray out of a cake plate. Um, let's do one in a basket and that way more of a tray and y'all can see too that you don't even have to have a cake plate. This is just a tray that I had. It's a wooden tray. You could honestly even put this on a cutting board but this is just giving you an idea. So I'm gonna use this on the bottom. Do the same exact one. That on the bottom. Greenery. I'm gonna move some greenery to this side over here. Oh, I'm getting y'all out of the way. Here, wait. Do my American flag in there. Throw my little salt and pepper shakers up there. Do you see what I'm doing? It can be done on absolutely anything. You can make it, it doesn't have to be a tear tray. It doesn't have to be a cake plate. It can be a tray. You don't even have to have that. You could totally take a platter and do it. But I hope y'all got some ideas tonight. Uh, this, this is a really fun project to me. I love taking just same items, using them different ways to create different styles. So tonight we did farmhouse, we did vintage, and we did traditional. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching.